Hey everyone, today we're gonna to do a little different video. We're gonna talk about some cruise news and some upcoming cruises that we think are really fun and cool. Come check it out. Hey everyone, John here from Bite Size Cruises. Welcome back to our channel. If it's the first time you're here, we talk about all things cruising. We talk about cruise news. We talk about cruise ships. We do vlogs, cruise ship tours, the whole nine yards. So if you love uh, planning and going on great cruise vacations, consider subscribing and joining us on this journey. So today we're gonna to be talking about some cruise news. We don't do a lot of cruise news. There's a lot of people out there that do it. So we just jump in on when there's some really fun things to talk about, generally not drama related. So today we're gonna to talk about two fun upcoming cruises that I just happened to notice, which prompted me to do this video. So the first one is a rock, I saw like a, a just a uh, headline that Creed was getting back together. So hilarious, I click on it to see what it's all about, right? And then I find out that they're getting back together. Not only is Creed getting back together, but they're going to be doing a uh, tour, two shows on a cruise ship. So obviously that made me laugh and want to check it out. So I checked it out and here's the deal, right? And you could decide whether or not you would like to cruise with arms wide open and go see Creed. So it's gonna be on the Norwegian Pearl next April the 13th. I think it was next year. Yeah, it's next year, April 13th. Uh, or April 18th, April 18th. Uh, so April 18th, 2024, I mean, I'll put the link below. We are not affiliated with this in, in any way. We don't get credit or uh, commission for this at all. Uh, it's a chartered rock cruise, so it has nothing to do with us. I just thought it was hilarious. So Creed is the headliner, obviously, right? Because they're getting back together. They haven't uh, haven't been together in years and years and years because Scott Stapp lost his mind, but he got it back. He's doing well, which is great. It's called the Summer of 99 Cruise. It's summerof99cruise.com if you want to check it out. It is Creed, Three Doors Down, Buck Cherry, Tonic, Vertical Horizon, The Verb Pipe, and Dishwalla. Got a lot of one-hit wonders there. But Three Doors Down is a big name. Buck Cherry had a couple songs. Creed obviously had a lot of songs. So if you are interested in going on the Norwegian Pearl next year to go see the Summer of 99 Cruise, uh, go check it out. It looks like it's going to be hilarious and fun, but it really kind of caught my eye. So next bit of news we'll talk about is the Explorer 1 was officially delivered by Finn Cantieri Cruise uh, Builders to MSC this week. Explorer One is the first of the new luxury cruise ships under this Explorer Waterways brand that is MSC's luxury brand. It looks really nice. It is going to be heading out on its first trip August 1st, leaving from Copenhagen. It's going to Reykjavik, Iceland. That's a pretty good cruise for its first cruise. So that's an interesting one. You can go check out. There's some beautiful video of Explorer One. It looks very luxurious and beautiful. Next up is another funny cruise. It's just two funny cruises I saw. And I think we're actually going to go on this cruise. So it's the Hallmark Channel Christmas Cruise, which is next year, November of 2024. You can go to hallmarkchannelcruise.com. Again, no affiliation. We're not getting paid or commissioned for this. Just thought it was cool. If you love Hallmark Christmas movies, you'll get a chance to meet some of the actors and actresses. You will also get to see the premiere of their new Countdown to Christmas movie, which is coming out. This seems like a blast. It's it's going to be hilarious. Uh, also, I believe on a Norwegian ship for some reason. Jewel? Gem? I don't remember. However, it looks really fun, so go check that out as well. Uh, what a great way to kick off your Christmas season next year. Go check out some Hallmark. Uh, you'll be, and they will have all the Hallmark Christmas movies running on your in-room uh, TVs. You don't even have to leave your room on the cruise. Get on that cruise ship. Get your fill of Hallmark uh, vacation uh, Christmas movies. So next up, one last story I just thought I'd bring up since we were doing an impromptu news video. So I saw a couple, recently a couple retired on a cruise ship. This is not new. There's a bunch of people that have retired to live on cruise ships. I just thought I would give you an update on what this one looks like. So this is Nancy and Robert Halchins. I, I assume you're going to pronounce that Halchins or Hoochins. Either way, uh, Nancy and Robert, I apologize if I butchered your name. So one of the things they did was they 
we're looking at like 55 plus communities and uh, assisted living, all these different places. And they realized that those were extremely expensive, like 10,000, 12,000 a month. So they decided to uh, retire on cruise ships and they pick Carnival right now. They're, they're sailing on Carnival. They just completed their 1,000th day at sea, which is amazing, right? And their initial budget was $4,000 a month, which is pretty inexpensive, right? If you think about what you pay for rent. Now, keep in mind, they did extend that budget up to $5,000 because cruising is a little expensive right now. So for $5,000 a month, you're getting all of your room. You don't need to have a car, so it's going to save you car payments and insurance. They get all of their meals, right? So you have food included. I'm thinking if you live in any major city in the country for two adults to try to live for less than four or 5,000 a month with food, I don't think it's possible. So I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting that people are now using this as a way to retire. Look, it's a lot of work. It's going to be a lot of like shuffling from ship to ship sometimes and packing up your stuff and going to different places, but pretty interesting and cool. If you love cruising, there is an option out there for you to retire on a cruise ship or many cruise. There's a few people that do a lot of different cruise lines and cruise ships. Um, so check it out. And uh, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. We would love for you to subscribe to our channel. We're trying to hit 4,000 this month. So thank you again. And we will see y'all tomorrow. Thanks so much.